Okay, so there's a few subtle differences with this engine. Heater line. AU's terminate about there. This one keeps going all the way over there. Because the heater core is on the driver's side of a BA Falcon. This engine did not come with coil packs. It was in the description when I bought it, doesn't matter. That engine, or both engine mounts, is one on the other side. That needs to be swapped with the AU because the coil pack sits right up under there. Pretty bitchy to get it out. I need to take all the wiring off. This throttle body is fly-by wire, so I'm going to have to take the whole top of the intake plenum off and replace it with the fly-by uh, throttle cable. Injectors are coming out. Various other bits, spark plugs, injectors, fuel pressure regulator out of my car because it's better. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to run it off the coil pack. That should be good. Power steering. I believe it uses a different connector than a U at the power steering pump. I know that it will fit onto the rack, the BA power steering thing, but it needs to be cut, uh, needs to be bent slightly. So that sits up under there. They've moved the, you need the plug for the power steering switch because it sits like right there as the line comes out and around and down. Manifold should bolt, uh, exhaust manifold should bolt right up. The T5 transmission should bolt right up. It's the same bolt pattern the fly, the um, flywheel should bolt on to because they're practically the same engine below the cylinder head. There are other, there's various sensors I need to plug in and replace from the AU to the B series, the barrel. Got a few other plugs there. All in all, it should be all right. My tools. of the day. This compressor has a keyway. This one doesn't. But you can see this idler pulley here and where the AC compressor sits needs to be brought forward slightly. There's a tape measure. 30 by 30 by 3. Street racer. You know, if you ate a whole heap of apple seeds, you'd die. So it's been soldered and heat shrunk. I was going to do a shield around it, but I couldn't find a bit that was that size. So.
quite difficult to get them out. Um,
unplug the cam angle sensor. I also swapped the injectors over because I thought they weren't firing, but it turns out it was the KAS. Now, good news. The low rise bonnet fits the barrier engine, which I was absolutely shocked. Absolutely shocked. So, yeah, Series 2 should fit too because they're high rise. There's a bit of a squeal coming from that idler. I'm going to take it off and grease it. Maybe the bearing shot, I don't know. Front end of the belt is getting a bit warm, but it's stopped. Aircon works. You need to, when, oh, when you first get it started, you need to adjust the idle in a bit because it will stall. And I'm just sitting here waiting for it to cool down and took it for a drive. Sounds absolutely amazing. I'm going to take this exhaust manifold off, use a bit of angle iron that I still have, make up a bracket so these go on properly, on the top anyway. And then I'll use some exhaust cement and that will seal it, hopefully. So yeah. Runs, it drives. Okay, so I've ended up running the accelerator cable bracket thing to the rock cover bolt with a custom bolt thing. And then I just mounted this to where the cover bolt goes. But I'm gonna have to adjust it because when I step on the throttle it doesn't give me wide open. Okay, so to get wide open throttle with the throttle cable in that position, you're gonna have to add a little space like that to the end of the throttle. So I just got some bit of tubular metal, cut a slit in it to slot, uh, so slot the kid there. I'm gonna stroke to slot the cable through. And then I secured the cable inside it using a hose clamp. And that gives me wide open. Now you have to have your, ex uh, your accelerator and cruise control cables down as low as you can. Otherwise you won't be able to get your air pipe on. So that will hopefully fit in there. I'm going to have to bolt it down there. 